a friendly reminder. My favorite pastime is harassing cancer patients. Yup, we're going to be covering one of those dipsticks today. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be going over several videos, covering the same anti-masker who hates pride so much that he began harassing target customers and employees. You can find that video is day one of my 12 days of Christmas idiots. Now, I'm not going to be using his real name because this guy is extremely narcissistic and I don't want to feed into his delusions of grandeur, so I'll only be referring to him by his Christian name, Karen. So let's begin. A friendly reminder, my favorite pastime is harassing cancer patients and people that wear masks. I love to just harass people, just put the camera in their face, just harass them and yell at them and just follow them around and... Even when they tell me to leave, I just don't leave and just press them and press them and press them and press them. That's my favorite thing to do is just harass people. If only someone actually loved you in your life, you might find that spending quality time with the people that you love trumps running up to random people and harassing them over your political beliefs. But again, someone has to actually love you for that to happen. And when I say love, I don't mean love to kick you in the head as a baby. So I don't want to hear any of that, but my mama loves me bullshit. I just love harassing people, especially cancer patients because they're weak and vulnerable, you know, weak and vulnerable and easy targets. I love harassing cancer patients. Hmm, that's funny. How do you think this guy who likes to harass cancer patients because they're vulnerable reacts when he starts harassing somebody who's a little bit more capable of defending themselves? I'm not triggered, you're just an Dude. asshole. No, you you're can donate fifty dollars and I'll let you go. Dude, anybody that wears a mask is a traitor to the United States. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, bro? You're a traitor to freedom across the world. People are not Dude, comfortable kids, talking to you if you look, don't have a mask look, on. It's kids, my job. Look, kids get expelled from school if they don't wear a mask. That's, I don't give a shit. I'm not in school. That's tyranny, dude. They're abusing little kids. So you're enabling that, bro. Whatever, bro. I'm how ready how for does your it name. feel? How does it feel to be a tyrant, bro? Hey, bro, don't walk away. I need your name. You can either delete that video. Or you could okay, donate so fifty dollars. This, this guy's triggered because because I. This guy's him. triggered because because shut the fuck <laughs> up, you little bitch. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm not about to assault you and go to jail. I got shit to lose. Unlike you, you're out here with no job, just walking around recording people, bitch ass. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> fuck you. All right. <laughs> so are you gonna donate or are you gonna sign a you're release? You're the beta wearing a mask, dude. A beta wearing a mask? Yeah, betas wear masks. Bro, then why don't you put me in my place? I'm talking to you like an alpha. What hey, you if gonna do? If it was like 200 years ago, I would love to, bro, but... Really? If it was 200 years ago, you'd love to? That's cute. That must be the new cool thing stupid people say when they're getting punked out by a nerd in a dare shirt. And when I say nerd, I mean it in the most endearing way possible. That's crazy, cause no, it's 2021, and you I totally could, could but you're not. You can't just fight people like on the street. You're a I pussy. Wish I wish we could. Dude. Pussy. I really wish pussy. we could. Pussy. But we can't do pussy. it. Pussy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Keep wearing that mask. I will. Yeah. Stupid bitch. See ya. And the answer is yes. If you're one of the ones who wanted to see the look on his face as he got reduced to a soy latte. I have that masterpiece for you too. Triggered behind me. Shut up, you little bitch. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm not about to assault you and go to jail. I got shit to lose. I'm like you. You're out here. Hey, did you just rub your imaginary beard, Karen? Nervous much? Yeah. Oh. Fuck you. So you gonna donate or are you gonna sign a release? A beta wearing a mask? Bro, they want to put me in my place. I'm talking to you like an alpha. This is like 200 years ago. I would love to do it, but... That's crazy, cuz. Now it is 2021. I totally could, but you're not. You can't just fight people like on the street. You're a pussy. 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 Bye, have a great time. I opened my Instagram this morning and Alex from Predator Poachers <laughs> tags me in the post and is a uh, and apparently I'm on front page Snapchat. So that's a new one. That's pretty big. See what I mean about his narcissism? Even when the title is obviously degrading to him, he sees it as a win. So I hope he sees this video just so it pisses him off that I refuse to use his name. Karen. Um I 
done front page world star and read it multiple times uh this is a first time snapchat that's pretty that's pretty big i i don't know if this is true though so i better go on snapchat and check it out see if it's true you'll have to forgive him he has to rake the bugs out of his beard once a minute just to keep up with the reproduction rate of lice on his face wow guys this is crazy turning point usa has me trespassed after i go to their event wow how i didn't think tpusa could get any more petty guys the the, the they didn't want me there but they said i was like arguing in her, like with people i was not arguing with anybody sure you weren't karen sure you weren't and what kind of piece of shit do you have to be to get an ultra conservative right wing education reform group so mad at you and your conservative values that they trespass you the poster child for adult stage abortion so now they're gonna have me trespass <laughs> wow guys i didn't think tpusa could get any more petty guys this is insane man Wow. Do not do not work with TPSA. They are complete trash. As the authority on what the inside of a dumpster tastes like, I'll take your word. Everybody there completely rude to me. Saying I live in my mom's basement and just insulting me. Wow. All because I called called out a couple girls on the internet for posting bra pictures posting sexual bra pictures which is not conservative that's why they're mad at me hey it isn't our fault that you're sexually dysfunctional you should blame your mother who breastfed you until you failed the third grade and you're in no position to dictate what is and is not appropriate for a woman to do with her body until it physically affects you which in your case means never we go inform the common folk the common covidian we're going to inform them the vaccine side effects and uh you know See if they'll listen. Probably not because most people I've noticed that are getting their vaccine, it's, it's like their second dose. So like they're, t they're too far gone to even like turn back, you know? So and they have Stockholm syndrome because they already got the first one. They don't want to believe that the vaccine is bad for you. So if you're going to start claiming that people are getting the vaccine due to Stockholm syndrome, then you really need to explain to all of us what your imaginary definition of Stockholm syndrome is. What about you, man? This is it your first and shot? Your third one. Your third too? Wow. So let me ask you, do you guys trust the government? I'm sorry. Oh, hell yes. You trust What's wrong with you? Sir, I'm trying to keep this video under 20 minutes, and there is no way for me to cover everything that's wrong with this defective dick flute. I'm just curious because I don't trust the government. Well, then don't trust them. <laughs> then don't do it. Like, There's no reason for you to do it. Yeah. I just don't understand why people are get, getting a, a vaccine for... Uh, why are you here? Something I'm that's killing to... people. Have a couple of your friends die of it and find out how you feel about it. There was never a pandemic. If you look at the numbers... No, well, I just know from, people. From 2019 to 2020, there's, a, there's no increase uh, yes, of death numbers from I'm, 19 I'm to 20. And this, my friends, is what you call a bold-faced lie. According to world population data, the United States' increase of population from 2017 to 2018 was 0.62% and 0.60% in 2019. Also, according to the CDC, the number of resident deaths increased from 2017 to 2018 by 0.9%, which is pretty close to the population growth and only 0.55% increase in 2019, which is almost identical to the population growth from 2018 to 2019. So if no additional deaths have occurred due to COVID, what do you think the percentage increase in the number of deaths from 2019 to 2020 is when the population increase during that same time period was 0.59%? Maybe we meet in the middle and say, 0.7%. Or let's just add the two years of increase together and say 1.5%. No, the increase in the number of U.S. resident deaths from the year 2019 to 2020 was 18.5%, about 30 times greater than expected. So you can eat shit, Karen, wear a mask, and if you can get vaccinated, go get fucking vaccinated. The vaccine don't, don't has, you know how many people have been injured turn and killed from the vaccine? Nearly a million serious adverse side effects. Nearly a million serious adverse side effects from the vaccine, guys. Yeah.
over 30,000 people have been permanently disabled from the vaccine. Oh, shit. Those yeah. are the numbers. That's science. That's facts. He's telling the truth. Sci that's science. What, what did you get a medical degree? It's common sense. It's on the no, internet. Did you get a get medical degree? Did you? Do you work for the CDC? Hmm? Do you work for the, you work for the CDC? Yeah. I have a medical degree. Get out. You should know that uh, the vaccination no, is for depopulation. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, John, this gentleman is filming things, and he's asking... Some I just thought it was interesting. And, of course, the cameraman has to lie, too. Because, just like Karen, he's too much of a fucking coward to stand up for his own beliefs. Alright, one more video to cover, and this one gets extra spicy. There is no mandate is for a mask. Yeah. Your policy does not supersede the law. It's against my religion, and I have a health condition, I can't wear a mask. So you have both a religious and a medical condition. I guess that makes you religious-tarded. Well, unfortunately for you, Karen, there's no mass exemption for that condition either. The only way that we can you're breaking you, the sir, law by if, you, if you're trying to refuse service, you're breaking the law. When I'm refusing your service, you're more than welcome to go to a drive thru They can assist you in the drive thru You guys are we disgusting. Disgusting behavior. No, what's disgusting is that hair on your face that makes your chin look like the bottom half of my nutsack. Just need this right here. Sir, so I'll be, hopefully you guys don't break the law. The cashiers can't serve you. Why? It's only gonna take you two seconds. You know, what, you know what country is this? This is Indian country. This is America. Give me a favor. You don't have to wear a mask in America. Read this. Who here is surprised that Karen doesn't realize that when you're on a Native American reservation, you follow the tribal laws of that reservation, you dumbass. What hey guys, do you guys, do you guys what approve of this? Say, hmm? yeah. Do you approve of this? You approve of discrimination? It's not discrimination. Oh, 100%. 100% discrimination. Read this. 100% discrimination. Hey, your policy's not above the law, dude. Go ahead and try this. Your policy's not above the law, bro. Their policy might not be above federal law, but there is no federal law that says they have to respect your right to be a team-killing fucktard, nor is there a federal law that says they have to serve you if they don't want to. No, it is. Especially since it's on reservation. Okay, you guys are just killing yourself by wearing masks all day. Disgusting. Unbelievable behavior. Do you like you like being a little Nazi? Do you like it? Do you? Does it give you power to try to enforce masks? Do you? I do this all the time, dude. I hunt mask Nazis, dude. That's just a fancy way of saying he's unemployed. I have people who don't want to wear a mask. You don't even have it. Put it over your nose then if you're going to wear a mask. Yeah, do that, slave. Now put Be it down. Be a good slave. Put it down. Be a good slave. Now put it down. Now go. Oh, I need 20 and pump too. Nah, you need 20 in a padded cell. With paper steak knives so you don't hurt yourself when you wipe your ass. Now I think this medium to big size guy is getting a little sick of Karen's shit. Well, you ain't gonna get service here. If you don't want to wear the mask, then don't. Go on. Look at this guy. Nazi. This is a Nazi. This is a modern day fascist right here. You're disgusting, dude. Uh -huh. This is how you treat your customers? Yeah. No, just go ahead. Go on. Pathetic, dude. Go on. There you go. And yes, you saw it right. When no one will listen to you and all else fails and you can't get any gas because you're a piece of shit human being, just find the nearest person trying to make an honest living and assault them. Thankfully, he was caught and fined over $500 for his actions. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. If everything goes as planned, I should have one for you tomorrow, if not the day following. If you like this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic and I'm out.